Hello and welcome back to another CM Travels video. My name is Murray Forbes and today I'm going to bring you a bit of information about how to record your screen and your audio using all the software that's in your Mac. Sorry for non-Mac users, but I'm currently using the Mac Mini M1. Wonderful PC and if I haven't put out some videos about them already, you can check them out up here. I found it very important for me to talk about the images I have been taking with this beautiful Nikon gear that I've recently been using. This particular lens is the 500mm AFS Nikkor 500mm 5.6E PFED DR lens, beautiful lens, and I'm going to be, if you haven't already, you can check out that video which I'm going to be doing soon or if I have not already done it. But here I just wanted to show you quickly how I've been recording my screen and my audio at the same time while using QuickTime Player. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and if you're new check out the website. We do make some pretty cool t-shirts as well. Be part of the community, help me keep bringing you amazing content and get yourself a t-shirt. Cool, let's dive into it. As you can hear me, I am using QuickTime to record my screen. So I first went file and then new screen recording and click record and then it started to record my screen as you saw from the beginning and then I can also go file and then new audio recording and record an audio while I'm also recording as you can see in the top right here of the screen, my screen as well. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it like that and if I go into here and go new audio recording you can then if you had another microphone plugged in it would then come up here as well so you could record to a microphone. I did try to plug in the microphone that I normally use with my camera but unfortunately because it is an audio jack it does not read the file so if I came up here into new audio recording here at the moment it is to my headphones and that of course is perfect but yeah if you if you have a microphone that connects to your audio mic jack on your Nikon for example on your camera it's not going to be able to be read by your Mac Mini M1 because it does not have that functionality coming out of the audio jack however if you have a USB microphone that whole problem is negated and the option to get to that recording is by simply going here new recording and then clicking that and you have it should technically pop up here and that's how you record your audio while also recording your screen using QuickTime Player. So there you have it I hope that helped you as much as it helped me out getting into the once I got my new Mac Mini M1 I wanted to record my screen and I needed audio as well and then I was thinking I needed to film on my camera to get audio and that just made absolutely no sense and while my rubbish headphones are not the best audio quality of course you are more than welcome to plug in a condenser mic or whatever microphone you can that you would like and use that as the output to your audio so i hope that helped you today and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye <laughs>